Hello, everyone, and uh, Dwight here. Um, welcome to week six. Only a couple more weeks to go in the class. I just wanted to to encourage you to you all to keep going. I know it <laughs> seems a little bit overwhelming. A lot of the processes are may or may not work correctly. Um, I do recommend uh, try to as best you get as best that you can go through the instructions because we. Yeah, we make them uh, pretty clear um, as to what you need to accomplish. So I did want to just encourage you. I mean, just keep at it. There's all with the with the VMs with VirtualBox. There's all kinds of issues if you're running, or there could be all kinds of issues if you're running Windows. So, so if for some reason you can't complete any of the assignments, just let me know. Uh, basically, I will give you to the end of class uh, or the end of the course itself. Um, which which is the, the 28th of June, so you do have time to investigate um, research. Uh, all of the issues, if it's not um, that I've seen thus far, you should be able to overcome them. Um, if you have specific questions, I tried to answer them, but um, just, uh, just keep going. All right, so let me do a quick overview of uh, what uh, I'm expecting uh, for week. Uh, week six, so let me share my screen here. All right, let's go back to the modules. We're, we're actually looking at operating systems and we do have a, a particular component uh, addressing networking, uh, basic networking. So once again, what I would recommend, please start with the module overview. Um, the, uh, the objectives are identified here, basically, you're tasked to explain the general differences between the, the OS's Linux, Windows, and Mac. Uh, and don't overthink this. I'm not asking you to dig into registries or, or backend engine and functionality. Just essentially there's some clear functional differences and you have most of the resources that you can use uh, for the assignments um, as usual in the course. Uh, I'm going to ask you to execute a command line interface or basically that's the terminal. Um, of each of the operating systems. Obviously with Windows, it's DOS, with uh, Mac, um, it's the terminal. With, um, with Linux, it's pretty much the same thing. It's the terminal. So uh, if you have any issues with that, please let me know. Um, and basically execute uh, command line interface CLI um, to log in and transfer files between various operating systems. You see that there's, you will see that there's some, some particular nuances about this make sure that you please read uh, all of the, the reference materials. Specifically, these videos here will help you uh, with all of the, you know, what, what I'm asking you for. Um, and probably the biggest reason why we're, we're using the, the, these videos themselves is that they, they do provide some basic information. Uh, as you're aware of this, <laughs> Some of these things will task you to do things and they may or may not work. But part of this course is that we're asking you to, to go beyond some of the resources because many of you will need to do that. And I have to admire uh, all of you. I mean, you're putting in the effort. I'm, getting, I'm receiving the messages um, and just keep doing that and you'll be fine. Um, all right, so let's see, and as I said, basic networking, I think a lot of you are pretty familiar with basic networking, the OSI model, IP addressing, uh, routers. This just goes into very, very basic networking. Um, uh, this, this, this video, um, excuse me, uh, that, that uh, essentially demystifies any issues with the OSI model, what it's used for, Please watch that. It's 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 pretty short, and it'll definitely help. All right. And then the assignments, basically, yes, one of those those annoying little quizzes again. Um, please read the questions very carefully, uh, and as usual, it is stating you you'll need to research um, online for some of your answers. And some of them, I mean, you could probably get through them without. Uh, too many issues, but please read the questions carefully. Um, all of these are not 
overly complicated as far as um, providing an answer to them, but they're, they can be tricky. So please read them carefully. All right. And then this, the second assignment is essentially building another VM uh, in VirtualBox or, or uh, VMware. And you're going to just add a very basic Ubuntu or Linux. Um, and all I want you to do is after you add the Linux, this should not be a big issue. Um, I know that some of you have had some issues with your, with your virtual machine or your virtual platform. Uh, basically, you can go out to, you can do Linux, uh, go out to the Linux org site or even Google Ubuntu to find your ISOs uh, for this, uh, this particular part of the assignment. And basically, you're going to open up a terminal and type in sudo uh, vishwa, which is basically a command that will showcase um, most of the, the parameters um, on your Ubuntu box. And basically, you'll get a big file or big listing, copy that into a text file, and submit that. Uh, remember, generally, I check those in, in um, high detail. So it's, it's very easy to determine whether you're actually running it from your own virtual machine or not, All right? So those are the assignments. And remember, you can ask questions under the discussion. Um, this doesn't uh, hold any, any point value for you, but definitely can get you through the assignments. Uh, because I like this because some of your classmates are a little bit more advanced and they will opt in to answer the, some of the questions before I can get to them. And that's always good. All right, so that's week six. Once again, um, we have two more weeks, week six, week seven. I will go over um, essentially what I'm uh, expecting for week seven um, at the end of this week. All right, good luck everyone. And, you know, just keep going. I just wanted to want to keep you all encouraged. I mean, this is not an easy class, especially if you're, you're just now digging into tech and IT. Uh, just keep at it and you'll be fine.